this balancing and the where that this balance is, and you're just doing it just to do it. So yesterday we talked about leading the other person to the position as you pass and you can get a half right here. And I have an underhook that right here. That obviously you know, here, here, whichever way we go, here. This is more so rest. Now, let's say for whatever reason, your partner, yeah, he got that underhook and you were like here. Just because you're here, it doesn't mean that you're dead, okay? It means that you need to be able to control, number one, them from getting a deeper underhook. You never want your arms to be extracted from your hips, your elbows, because this is where submissions happen, okay? Here, it's not very easy to submit you because the only thing here is basically either a wrist lock or a straight lock here, but he doesn't even have the ankle, okay? Let's do it this way, sir. So from here, if you notice, this foot, leg is over, okay? I don't wanna be here because there's nothing holding his leg, which is bringing it through, okay? Back, okay? But at the same time, I don't wanna be here. Whenever they cross and, and, and figure for their legs, to me that says they're not trying to escape. I prefer this, okay? Now what I'm gonna do here is, I'm gonna bring this foot on the inside, here, okay? And I'm gonna start moving him here to shift his weight in my life as he shifts his weight back onto me. He pushes him, and he's sliding underneath, and you're trapping his arm and his leg, okay? My right hand is on his hip. You got the underhood, is here, okay? Not here, but here, okay? My right foot, Right here, my right knee is kind of wedging in his buttocks. My right hand is on his on his hip. Okay, so as I move this way, my right elbow is pitching. Judge will only flat. You can't do it with the other way. I prefer this. Look, I also don't want his knee to slide up into my elbow here. That's not good because, again, it's distracting my arm. So I want to have this inside, okay? Because what I want to do is, I can have my feet over or this way, whichever way. If you can't find it, this is okay right here, home. That's it. Okay. Pop my knee back in. Right, here we go. Okay. So, pinching, and I want this knee pushing, elbows up. I want to have my hand on his hip. Rare occasion, but I know he's not going to pass and wrist lock me with my elbow to the mat right here, okay? I want to turn to my side as it goes. Let's do this way. Be preferable. Take the elbow. It happens fairly fast if you can time it. So as you're here, he goes here. If you touch the one with your flat, your hand is on the hip. I'm scooting underneath. So we're here. Here, I'm playing in here, here, and it's this, look. If you put it stuck in a half guard, it's fine, you're on top, it doesn't matter. Your hand pushes their hip. Look, look here. This won't work right here. Do we track my elbows here? I have to frame this hip. I have to scoot. In the hand, you push it back in. And as I push it back, my left hand is just preventing him from posting. I'm just pinching. Anchored my arm down. Because what happens here, he has an underhook. Number one, if my arm's here, I'm just holding him. That. Don't flush that one. Yeah, look. If my hand, if I, I see a lot of this, you just hold them on you. And I don't want that because what happens from here is that their knee starts sliding through as their right hand walks forward. And then you're getting their three quarter mount right here, a three quarter guard. And now she's getting worse and worse and worse. Okay. As I'm here, 
I'm blocking here. He, 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 he's, sorry, Professor. He's pinching my arm, guys, so I can't get this out. Once he locks this elbow down, it's locked to my, my rib cage. It's hard. He, he really doesn't have the angle. That he can try, but as I move here, as he tries, yeah. Yeah. Even if he kept this right here, I'm fine because now I'm here. Okay. And I can go here, I can go here, I can do that. Whatever the case may be. So let's say that someone I know frames the head from there. It's still not right. Frames yeah. the head? Framed, like, trying to get the inside frame against the neck and they have Him? Yeah, he works. He wants to frame the head. Frame the neck away from you, yeah. To try and get back to under her. Meaning? For you, you, you. So you're going to frame against his neck instead of I'm not going to frame against the neck. Okay. Because number one, I can't even get my arm in here. Number two, I'm more concerned about him extracting my elbow from my hip. Because this is my vulnerable arm right here. Okay? I don't want that because I know he's going to drive that knee through. Okay? That's the other option. So you have to be aware why I'm monitoring this hip. I don't want to be here. I don't want to start doing this. I, I don't have any power right here. Okay? But what I do have is the ability to begin to create these balances and begin to move him. If he begins to really try to hold me flat, okay? look, he holds on to me. I can get here and now I have a number. I'm fine here. I can get here, here, yeah. here. Yeah. I'm okay. But just try this. But the reason why you want to monitor that hit is if I don't, if I'm here, he can just advance. And now both hands are now vulnerable. It's a lot easier for him to even put that foot here and start dragging that knee through it. Now I'm like here, and I'm like, oh, and I'm fighting that. Losing battle. I need to at least stack the odds in my favor somehow. Because this right here is your path to recover guard. This right here is your jamming his underhook. Okay? And I'm tilting him this way as he goes. Right here, fine, I'll stay in here. Okay? I'll stay here. I'll go here, I'll go here, I can go three quarter mile. We'll need to Let's try. One, two, three. Partner up. I am low. I am low. Listen, because I did that in the match.